Oh my goodness, there's a potential tequila shortage that could impact your next margarita. Brace yourself there. Extremely dry weather in Mexico over the past few years has hurt crop production of agave and the primary ingredient used to make tequila. My favorite tequila is Casa Dragons. I may be mispronouncing the last name wrong, but it I is. I like Terramana. Really? Don Julio. <laughs> all, of, all of those are definitely good options there. I don't know if I should be happy about that or not, but hey. You know. I mean, you know, hey, we're, we're, we're all adults. We're 21 and older. We're so, 20, right. right. You know, <laughs> nothing wrong with a little margarita here or there. Right. And as the saying goes, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, even though we're not drinking now, but it's 5 right. o'clock somewhere. Chips Ahoy is holding a happiest birthday party sweepstakes. Two lucky fans will win a trip to Miami and can bring along four friends each. Chips Ahoy! <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like a good excursion for some cookies. Right, it does. Call organizers in New Orleans are accused of trying to be funny and pull a fast one. Some of the names on the failed petition to remove the mayor were Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and Scooby-Doo. And can't forget about my guy Shrek. Could Blockbuster be entering the streaming market? The company's mm. reactivated website has fans hoping it's true. The iconic video rental chain filed for bankruptcy in 2010, and by 2014, its remaining stores had closed. It currently has one store in Bend, Oregon. The website is owned by Dish Network. This is interesting because I didn't even know that they had one still open. Oh, wow, I didn't know it. Either. I didn't. I didn't know it either. But this is definitely interesting because I can definitely remember the days years ago. Obviously, like like you. I, I did have that experience too. I was I was a part of that era. So you know, going and picking out a movie and the experience of the popcorn. I don't, I'm curious as to how that would translate because that's what Blockbuster is known for that that in person experience. Right. But like you said, we have like other streaming platforms like Netflix. Like how will they compete with that? Foot Locker plans to close 400 of its stores by 2026. I've been I'm not a big sneakerhead person, but oh, the I last definitely am. you I are. I actually worked at Finish Line in college, which is similar it's like champs in Foot Locker. So, okay. Yeah. So, um, so did you, are you normally, do you normally frequent any of the stores since you are a big sneaker person? Not recently. Uh, maybe if I know I want something, I'll go. I'm not okay. as big as I, you know, used to be. It's very interesting. I know I have tried his uh, wine, his 19 Somebody crimes. Somebody told me to try I it. Have, I might have, to, I'm going to have to get that this week. I'm not a huge, uh, it's a bit dry, oh, well, but you know, I mean. I like a dry wine. Now, lately, I've, up until recently, I've been into the, uh, dry wine so I might give it a try but I love that Snoop Dogg has his hand in everything, everything right. like he's, he's gone from rapper to uh, businessman business owner you know he's to talk show with the talk with Martha show, Stewart with right, the cooking that, everything yeah, so. he does it all so I like that for him I remember back when the whole Southwest fiasco and people's luggage was all across the country yes. people were able to find out my luggage is still way over right. here because of the air tags yeah, you they're know very helpful and Apple rarely puts anything on sale, so, uh -huh. you know, that might be something that people have to take advantage of. But there are some concerns, you know, scoring lovers, putting their air tags it, it, in. Yes, in their dropping people, in people's <laughs> luggage, but, you know, luggage, hey. I, I wink. <laughs> if you can't trust them, you don't need them. <laughs> Fathers on a Mission, an organization that strives to improve the relationship between men and their children, is hosting its annual father-daughter dance in April. Now the founder of FOAM, LeVar Robinson, is here this morning and he's excited to talk about this opportunity for dads. I'm excited to hear about it because I actually had the opportunity to go to a father-daughter dance with my dad several years ago. So good morning. Thank good you morning, for joining morning. us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. 